Today I want to discuss understanding the silage analysis sheet. The first thing you look at, normally in the top right hand corner, is the received date. That should not be a Monday. If it's a Monday that means your sample has sat in the post over the weekend and it means it's deteriorated. Then on many of the analysis sheets you have a low normal high range just above the analytes. That is nothing to do with whether that's what you want. You don't want high for everything. It's about where that sits within all the samples they've been analysing over the past year or so. So for ammonia instruments, if you've got low ammonia, that's excellent. If you've got high sugar, that's excellent. Then the key parameters are the dry matter, the ME or D value. And these are related because the ME equals the D value multiplied by 0.16. And then the crude protein. And if we're talking high producing uh, animals, then we want a dry matter in our clamp silage of between 30 to 32% ideally. Um, ME of as close as possible to 12, because that means we've got more nutrition in that uh, silage and it'll be highly digestible, meaning that the intakes can be increased. And then for crude protein, we want somewhere above 16% crude protein in our grass silages, 16 to 18%. Obviously maize is a high energy crop, so protein far less important. And those are the sorts of things we should be looking for. And then in terms of fermentation indicators, it's the lactic and VFA that are important. But ideally, we want to calculate the lactic divided by the VFA, and that should be three or more to show we've got a very good fermentation. 